Hi, I'm Celine from Blue Cala Patterns and I have some very exciting news to share. I'm officially a Janome artisan, which means that I will be um, working with one of their machines and I will also be writing some blog posts for their Janome Life blog. So that can be found on their website. Um, the machine that I'm going to be working with is the you can see it on the box here, the HD9 Professional. Um, I believe this is going to be a, a new model replacing the Janome 1600P, which was their uh, straight, stitch, sorry, straight stitch machine. So this is also a straight stitch machine. It doesn't do any other stitches. Um, I thought it would be fun if I uh, filmed the unboxing of the machine. Um, everyone likes getting new things, so I thought I could unbox it and everyone can have a, have a look to see what it what it has inside. So I'm going to start by uh, removing the, the plastic here. It's very well wrapped. I don't think I've ever had a machine before that came in this plastic wrapping. Usually it's just the box that you get. Don't worry, these are not fabric scissors. They are just paper scissors. says hold and my name. Um, so I don't know too many of the stats exactly yet because I haven't had a chance to read the manual and um, obviously I have not worked with the machine yet so I'm not going to talk um, about how it sews or anything like that for now. I just want to show what it looks like when you open the box and all the different parts that come with it. Now one thing that I am getting with the machine that I don't have yet is uh, they have this new attachment. It's called the HD Roller Foot. Um, I think it's part of a, a leather kit that comes with this machine. Well, it doesn't come with this machine. You have to order it separately. So I have not received the HD leather kit yet. Um, that is supposed to arrive soon, I hope. Okay. All right, so I have my instruction book and my warranty. And I wasn't sure if it was gonna come with a, a knee lift, but it does, and I always use this. Um, then I have, uh, it looks like the accessories, well, some of them. Uh, screwdrivers, two screwdrivers, a bunch of bobbins. Oh, I'm gonna open this up and uh, we'll look at the bobbins more closely because these are giant. These are bigger than average. Uh, some needles. And I'm not sure what, I think these are other tools. So I'll have to look at these more closely later. Of course, uh, oil. Okay. The dust cover. I'll open that after and have a look at it. Okay, so now I have to take it out of the, the styrofoam. Is it recording? Now I'm headless, but better yet. Okay, so on the inside here, the machine's on the inside, but on the outer part here. Whoa, that is a giant foot pedal. This is the foot pedal. It is, it is twice the size of a regular foot pedal. And there's a little door here. I'm not sure what that's for, but I'll have a look at the manual later. That is massive. And then, of course, the power cable. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take it out of here and hopefully not break it. Um, I think I should lie it on the back. Pretty. This is a really big machine. very heavy <laughs> and it's big okay so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it around and I want to uh, set up the cables and everything and then I have a look at everything closely here so this is the foot pedal I think I could fit both my feet on this thing Okay, so I'm not going to hook it up yet, and obviously I'm going to, I need some time to learn how to thread it. Typical um, spool holder. Now, one thing I've heard about this machine that I can't wait to try out is that it's supposed to um, automatically adjust tension if you're using a thicker thread. So I'm Pretty excited about that feature. Um, and I want to look at the, so this just kind of pops right off, like it doesn't stay attached. It's not a hinge door, which is kind of interesting. Uh, hopefully I never lose this part. And so these are the bobbins. Um, I'm gonna get, I wanna get a regular size bobbin just to show the size difference. So just for a size comparison, this is a, a regular bobbin and this is the bobbin that comes with this machine. It's significantly bigger, which I know um, most people would love this feature. And wow, that is also, it's not like a full case, it's just, almost like a flat disc. That is very interesting. I've never seen one like that. But other than that, it seems to work um, the usual way. Okay. Now, how many bobbins? So one in the machine and four, four in the bag. So I'm gonna open this actually. I'm definitely gonna need more bobbins. I think I have 30 bobbins for my my other machine. Okay, so I'm gonna have to check the manual to see what this part is, but it looks kind of interesting. And then it comes with this foot, which I have never used in my life for bag making. Oh, it has the screw, which is, I'm not sure. Also gonna have to look at a manual. Some needles, HL5. And then it has two screwdrivers. So I'm guessing one is for the main screw holding your foot, and the other one is for your needle. Cleaning brush, netting, which I never use. Okay, four bobbins, a cable oil. I like the case. Okay, so I am going to have to read some of the manual before I can figure out how to thread it. It has uh, the foot pressure uh, control here and it does have a thread guide right on the machine actually which is really handy. It tells you what kind of needles to use. Uh, oh, the tension goes from 1 to 8. Uh, it has the typical reverse bar here. It has a bo bobbin winder button, so I, I'm not sure, but I do believe that this machine can wind a bobbin while you're still sewing. Uh, speed control, up and down needle, and of course, thread cutter. And yeah, no, just thread cutter on the machine itself. And then your stitch length knob is here on the side. And it goes to six, which 
I think is probably pretty standard. And bobbin winder. Oh, and there's also, um, I don't know if you can see on the top here, but there's also uh, threading instructions for when you're uh, winding a bobbin, which I really like as well. I hate having to pull the manual out the first few times. Obviously you'll get it eventually, but it's nice to have that right on the machine. That's it, and I'll have to put in my, whoops, I just threw the oil. Oh, look at this. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's. I think this is to adjust the position. So you can bring the bar out further. This is at the furthest point, but you can bring it in closer to the machine if you want to. So that's, that's kind of a neat feature. I'm just gonna take out this bit of paper and I wish that I had it plugged in so that I could see the lighting, but um, I love the plate because the plate actually has all the markings, a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch, half an inch, right up to uh, a one inch mark. And then I'm guessing down here is in millimeters, which I don't really use, but I love that they have all of the markings on the plate itself. You know what, can I, I'm gonna plug it in to see what kind of lighting we have here. It's pretty standard, it got stuck to the table. Oh, it has a light right here. Right underneath here. And I think one, yeah, so one light here over top the needle and one light here uh, under the throat here. That's nice. Then I don't have to buy an extra light strip. That's great. So now that I've uh, had a brief look at the machine, I'm going to go ahead and read through the, the manual and just uh, familiarize myself a little bit with all of the features of the machine. Maybe do a little bit of sewing with it so I can get a little bit more comfortable with it. And then um, I'll film a part two of this video and I'll go through what I've learned with you. Bye.